Access and Allies 1942 Online is an incredible adaptation of an amazing board game. And we're going to continue with round three here on Legendary Tactics. So it's actually been a little while since uh, we picked up this game. Um, we have the previous uh, two turns uh, that we released a little while ago, but now we're picking things up where they left off. So um, taking a look at the Russian situation, we've been, uh, <clears throat> been forced to deal with uh, some enemy uh, tanks breaking through in uh, Archangel. Um, but otherwise, we're holding okay. I think uh, the Germans have really spent a lot of their forces in uh, their, their attack. I've been using the bombers from uh, Britain to uh, you know, basically drain them of uh, IPCs. And the Americans are beginning to land. They've taken uh, over uh, Africa now, and uh, we've got some good stuff happening there. So, um, and with Japan, uh, you know, we've been kind of holding them back, uh, but it's a race against time as it always is in that part of the, uh, in that part of the world. So we need to uh, make sure that we are in a position to take out those tanks so I'm going to, I've got 24 IPCs to spend. I um, think I'm probably gonna have to spend them all on the infantry because I'm gonna need all eight infantry against those four uh, armor there with the help of that fighter uh, because I have to neutralize that threat. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty uh, basic purchase. I mean, Russia, uh, you know, generally speaking is gonna be buying a lot of infantry anyway. So, those are going to be dropped right into Moscow, um, and we're going to uh, pile in to uh, um, to our Archangel with as many guys as possible. Um, we need to uh, make sure that we have um, as many um, troops there as possible. So. Um, the rest of it is just going to be defensive. I don't think we can, you know, we don't really have the forces to do much else. I'd rather not uh, push things too much. Um, I think, though, with um, against Japan, we may do it. This is always a bit of a gamey move in uh, in Access now, is but to send kind of one troop uh, into a into a, uh, an enemy uh, country becomes like a buffer zone because uh, the um, you know, it basically sets up a roadblock. So you can attack with, a you know, 100 troops and they can only advance the one space. So it's a little bit gamey, but I'm going to try and uh, buy some time with this. Um, we do have the industrial complex in India that can potentially um, help produce, uh, you know, some defenses here <laughs> quickly before uh, we get too uh, uh, sunk here. It's just such a risk with India, but uh, we'll probably have to pile in some... Uh, some troops and some defensive forces at the moment um, and and uh, again just kind of a race against time but we'll see what we can uh, what we can muster okay so um, we're just gonna do the uh, that one little gamey move there and we're gonna pile into the uh, into the, uh, the the space with this armor we need to take out that armor that is key so um, let's take on this battle here and hopefully, if we can take them out, we're going to create a nice wall that's going to hold the Germans back. I have a good feeling about it. So rolling lots of die here. Uh, any hits are welcome. <laughs> so we'll take take out a couple of them, which is great. And the fighters there, really, the, that's the, the one that we're counting on to get a hit uh, every single time. I know that the odds are not going to favor that, but that's what we... Uh, are hoping for so we did a lot of damage there that is solid um, and there's gonna be some defensive uh, damage so we're gonna lose a couple troops those are very acceptable losses we're gonna press the attack continue to roll we've got the odds very much in our favor hopefully get a one here if not we have the fighter as uh, a backup and we miss but luckily, we're, we're not in a position to take a lot of losses. He's going to have to really, you know, get lucky. And we're going to have to get especially unlucky um, in order to 
Oh, jeez. And what are we getting? We're getting on especially unlucky. Hopefully this will uh, get a 50-50. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, he missed. So we'll just keep on pressing the attack here. It's only a matter of time. And uh, really, it's only a matter of, of trying to make sure that... There we go. Trying to preserve as much uh, manpower as possible so then we've got a good defensive line uh, there. So that's good. Wiping out 24 IPCs at a cost of 9. I'll take those any day. That is... Uh, that's great. And you know what? It's actually nice the game adds that up for you. I think I mentioned this last time, but... I love the fact that the game adds that up for you and shows you what the actual, you know, damage is, the actual cost of it <laughs> is, um, is great. So we've reclaimed that part of China there. Um, we're going to uh, mobilize the, uh, the units uh, entirely in uh, Moscow. Um, and uh, we've got a nice defensive line now. He's only got a couple armor, uh, you know, he's got some pieces at a distance here but nothing really pressing we can hold on to that part of the line and I think the real risk might be in the Caucasus uh, next turn but um, we had to had to do what we had to do there to uh, um, you know basically protect Moscow we can't let that uh, go but he's he's definitely weakened and we are uh, in okay shape as uh, as Russia so we'll see and that is expected he is pressing the attack in the Caucasus now, next turn, we should be able to, depending on how this battle goes, we should be able to, um, you know, manage that conflict. Uh, you know, whatever units survive of his, we should be able to wipe out with a, an attack in Moscow, just continue to do that back and forth, uh, you know, kind of um, operation. Uh, oh, they, they did a quick battle, and they have three uh, armor in there, which is fine with me. Um, Oh, they're adding some other uh, other defenses there. Might have a vulnerable fighter in uh, West Russia there. Might be worth uh, attacking that just to take it out. It's very, it's a lot of IPCs. So uh, yeah, they fast tracked the battle uh, there, and so um, yeah, we are looking now to England. And uh, so England, we're going to need some defenses in India. So, um, I am thinking, um, oh, geez, um, we're going to need, uh, probably we need, we just need troops there. So I'm going to spend nine IPCs, uh, for troops earmarked for India. The rest are, uh, troops here in, uh, in England. So looking to build up, uh, maybe some, um, some transports uh, here and there, just maybe one transport and uh, huh, maybe um, I'm just trying to plan this uh, invasion of France here uh, because we do need to set that up um, and get that uh, get that going very soon. So um, he does have some pretty substantial defenses in northwestern Europe, but I, I see Fran the uh, France. Um, if you see for the French territory there as being a real at a real disadvantage. So uh, doing a quick bit of math here, um, I'm thinking that we could do well, we could do four troops, I guess, but we probably need um, a little bit better than that. Uh, so um, let's let's take an armor and a couple more infantry. I know it's a fairly basic purchase, but it's probably what we're going to uh, to need. So, um, all right. So these guys are stuck. Um, so maybe we're gonna move back to. Uh, oh, that's a non-combat move. Okay. So we're gonna move into uh, this part of um, of Africa with with the Americans coming with constant reinforcements uh, on the way. Uh, we should be uh, able to. Um, hang on to the Belgian Congo or at least uh, make it interesting for the uh, Germans. They're going to uh, have no reinforcements, so we're in a good, in a good spot there. Uh, now, the other thing is that, um, yeah, we just, we're going to need to send the bombers over. I can't really do much in India other than just hold my position. 
just not the uh, the forces there. So, uh, so we're going to uh, send the uh, the bombers over to bomb the um, to to bomb the uh, the industrial uh, complex there. Just want to make sure I've got that order correct because I want to make sure that it's uh, going to bomb the the industrial complex and not. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I think that's set up properly. Otherwise, it'll be a suicide mission. Um, and um, yeah, there's no navy here. I got a destroyer to defend my transport. So yeah, I don't know if it's maybe we should start getting set up in the English Channel um, after this. So I've got a few non-combat moves. Other than that, there's nothing really uh, that the British can do. Um, other than um, bomb the uh, the ind industrial uh, complex there, so yeah, it looks like that's what he's what he's up to. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, really not a, a very exciting move, but uh, basically setting the table hopefully for a um, a western. Uh, front uh, opening of the western front so let's see how this goes we got the bombing raid and these are always stressful because bombers are expensive so we we shall see how it how they go okay perfect all right and we need a high roll perfect that is very very good that is going to make germany <coughs> that's yeah, so to, between Russia and Britain, losing 30 IPCs is a fairly rough go, <laughs> especially uh, in this uh, in this uh, situation here with with uh, you know Russia holding their own and uh, Britain gearing up for an invasion. Yeah, it's not uh, not very promising. So I'm gonna see if I can get. Uh, to India in time here to reinforce. I don't know if I will. Uh, we shall see what we can do with those guys. But with Africa uh, basically in uh, in good hands, we should be okay. Um, other than that, uh, oh, and I do want to move my transport and destroyer down to the English Channel here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be if he sends any planes over to try and get that transport, uh, he may lose the destroyer, may uh, hold him off. And that is, uh, you know, if he's losing planes to that. Jeez, did he build five fighters? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, I did not notice that before. That's a, a powerful but fragile choice. Um, I really don't know if that's uh, the best purchase. I'm not expecting to the AIs to be a wizard uh, in this uh, game. Um, obviously, it's, uh, you know, it's something where, you know, the AIs are just never going to be as good as the as the uh, the playing against a real life opponent. But, uh, you know, again, just hoping to illustrate uh, this uh, this game for you and to have some fun myself. You know, it's been a long time since I've played Axis and Allies uh, and uh, and to, exp to try this 1942 version. Uh, has been a really uh, fun experience and I hope you guys have been enjoying as well um, if you do enjoy it you know please feel free to like and subscribe down below and uh, comment if you wish and uh, let me know what I'm what I'm doing wrong <laughs> it's always fun to find out um, you know because the strategies are similar but you know they're different at the same time uh, wow no real combat there that was interesting okay so now we've got a big U.S. move here uh, coming up. Um, so we need to make sure that we have the forces that we need to do what we want to do here. So, um, yeah, because there's the opportunity now maybe to move into uh, Western Europe at some point. So uh, this is going to be really, really uh, interesting. So I think we're going to build another... Uh, you know what? We've got 43. I think maybe we can get another bomber. Bombers are going to be useful. And, um, you know, maybe we can, uh, we can do some damage, uh, 
we can get it to Iwo Jima or whatever and set up a bit of a bomber base for strategic bombing, that could be very, very useful. Um, so let's see, we've got 31 to spend. Sometimes the, the U.S. has always been in that position where there's a, you know, kind of a funny situation where they are, um, you know, potentially in, the, in an interesting spot where they have almost too much money to, to spend. Now, I'm wondering if this is going to be, uh, if I should build a f industrial complex. Jeez, it's a tough call. Um, whether I should just buy more sea power, because I'm going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the uh, Japanese Navy at some point soon. Um, all right, well, maybe if I get a cruiser, and then... I mean, a fighter is always a good purchase, but I just want to make sure that I'm making smart choices here. So if I do that and get an infantry to go along with, that's 12 left. Uh, okay, maybe a couple armor. It's a bit tough to figure out exactly what I want to do here, but um, now how open is Italy? Italy is very open. So Southern Europe is actually more <laughs> more protected and um, Bulgaria and Romania so there's kind of an interesting uh, potential attack here on Italy uh, so yeah I think we'll just this could be an interesting round <laughs> because there there's definitely an opportunity here to um, to attack Italy and cause uh, a, some real disruption there um, Oops, I meant to uh, move him onto the transport. Or do I just continue, or should I just maybe uh, hold off on that one more turn? It's kind of a nice move. It's three IPCs worth, but maybe it's just better for me to actually move into uh, uh, Libya. I'm going to just cancel that move there. Uh, move into Egypt and move into Anglo-Egyptian Sudan so that it's kind of cut off. I think probably that's the better move. It's not as much fun, but um, it is probably the better move. And uh, I do have this fighter here as well. Um, so, you know what, maybe, uh, I think maybe he'll just be making a non-aggressive uh, non move uh, up to uh, help out up north. Um, all right, so where can I invade now? Because this uh, in this board, you can't get across to England right away. So it's almost good to use Morocco as a little way station just in case, but I'm, I'm gonna keep both tanks on the African uh, uh, land there just to make sure that, uh, hmm, just to make sure that we have the, uh, you know, the enough uh, forces there to dispose of those uh, enemy armor. <sighs> yeah, this is a bit of a tough choice here. Okay, well, let's see. We can begin to move in on uh, some of these uh, Japanese forces here. So there's a battleship and a transport. And what can we move in here? Um, all right, well, do we keep mo island hopping and just take Okinawa or Iwo Jima and use that as a bomber uh, base to um, strike? Or do we, be, do we attack the Japanese Navy? Um, yeah, he's got some forces there, but nothing really crazy. Um, I've got a destroyer. And a cruiser and a battleship. Um, yeah, it's kind of a tough, uh, tough call here. And uh, yeah, so it's it's just that there's just not. Maybe we'll, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this and see how uh, this goes. So we're gonna load. Uh, we're gonna load the tank onto this transport here. And we're going to uh, see what we can 
of what we can do about invading uh, Iwo Jima uh, this turn uh, with this tank. So this it's within range, so it should be okay. And I'm gonna load him up here and then move this tank here. Oh, sorry, the uh, transport here, and then unload right there. We're gonna bring along the cruiser for support, and that is gonna be an attack. Now, do we just move island hop and go to Okinawa, or do we do something more interesting? I mean, we could potentially be hit with a major attack next turn if we if we do, but I'm just wondering maybe about island hopping, um, whether that makes sense. Um, I mean, we've got a pretty good force. I don't know. Um, maybe we should, maybe, we'll, you know what? We're going to just um, take out Okinawa, I think. Um, and we're just going to, uh, so we're going to load this guy into the transport and bring him along and drop him off here. And bring along a battleship and basically bring everybody along. We're going to have fighters uh, coming along for the ride. One, two, three. Yeah, they should they should be able to land on... Or, sorry, the fighter. That's what I want there. Should be able to attack the... Uh... Huh, that's weird. I've got to figure out the... Um... The fighter movement, it seems a little bit different than in the regular game because I'd normally bring the fighter along to uh, join in on the attack and, um, you know, cause some damage, but that's fine. We, I don't think we'll, uh, we'll need them anyway, but uh, anyway, good to know. Um, you know, maybe we can bring him along. Yeah, okay, well, let's try that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it for now. I think we got to, we're definitely gonna have some peace movement, peaceable movement, uh, whatever you call it, <laughs> coming along. And you know what? Actually, let's hit Germany with another bombing raid. I think that is a very good use of that uh, of that bomber because uh, just starving Germany of of uh, units like that is definitely going to uh, sting. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I want to do with the U.S. That seems to be pretty good um, for the time being. So we'll go to the next phase. Oh, I had some movement into C zones automatically canceled for some reason. Um, but that's okay. We'll figure that out in a minute. And we'll do the bombing raid. And hopefully, again, just... Don't roll a one. Perfect. And now let's hammer him for another four. Oh, Germany is hurting. And every loss that they take in IPCs, it's just going to make it that much harder. All right, so um, we're gonna do this attack next here. And it's an amphibious assault. Oh, and it looks like our naval support couldn't make it for whatever reason. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully the fighter gets uh, hit here and we, oh geez, this is bad. This could be bad. <laughs> nope, we just got another chance. And I uh, just need this to come through and we miss. Okay, this again could be very bad. Oh, <laughs> dodge a bullet again. It's always the, the, the most dramatic part of this game is this die rolling. And finally, we got him as long as we don't take a hit here. Oh, geez. Uh, you know what? Maybe I maybe because he might be stranded anyway because that naval movement was canceled. Uh, it's expensive, but the U.S. does have money to burn. And so I'd much rather end up taking uh, Okinawa and having that as a as a bomber base uh, as well. That's something that's going to be very handy in the future. So let's see how this goes. This is a bit of a 
kind of a 50 50 ah darn it okay well at least we got uh we got a, that bomber base set up in uh in okinawa or sorry in uh yeah in okinawa so we lost some ipcs there for sure um but now we're going to be able to move all of our dudes in here and uh, that's fine. I'm going to leave the transport here just in case. And uh, can I land in Okinawa? No, not to. All right. Well, I'm just going to move to uh, the next island there. And uh, this guy is going to reinforce the transport. And now... It's really awkward that we can't get to Britain. That's a def definite difference in the map because you used to be able to ferry troops across very quickly and easily. Um, but I'm going to have to uh, do this where I'm moving the, um, the tank across to... Whoops. Why am I not able to board the tank here? So um, I'm going to move the, another tank across to the Morocco. And I'm going to get this transport back home here. There we go. And I'm just going to have to drop them off in Morocco. I know it's not very exciting. Um, but there we go. We're going to leave that transport there. It's a bit of a risk. but um, And I'm going to fly this fighter up to defend hmm uh kind of oh yes because i captured it this turn um i'm gonna move him in to protect uh, protect that uh that guy there uh, i'm gonna move the uh this fighter here um to protect uh help move into uh to india um we need as much support there as we possibly can. It could be a very dangerous uh, uh, spot there, but it looks like the at least the, the Japanese AI has retreated there. They, they don't have a lot of units really on the mainland. They're not that strong yet. Um, they could be soon, but they're not that strong yet. And as long as I keep pressing forward, I think it's gonna be uh, very tough, especially if Germany collapses uh, shortly, which is, which is the plan, so. Um, other than that, I don't see any other moves that make sense, so I think we're going to end it here. Oh, make changes. I forgot about the bomber in... Uh, <laughs> should be automatic. Just put him back where he was. Okay, that's good. At least he warned me that... Uh, <laughs> at least the game warned me that that, that guy was going to crash. Um, that would have been really silly. So anyway, everything looks fine, so good. All right, now mobilization. So uh, obviously the cruiser, we really need more on the um, west coast, the bomber. Now that I've got uh, a base, he's going to go right there. Um, and because we have uh, transports here on the coast, um, I'll put him here because then he's got, oops, and uh, put him there. And yeah, I guess I'll leave that transport there. I probably should build another uh, another transport maybe just to keep the, the ferrying of troops going uh, across. The rest of it, I don't really see any other uh, value in uh, doing anything different or I can't build anything different anyway. Um, so we're good. And so we are going to move on to the next phase. And overall, a very positive uh, turn for the Allies. Uh, Germany is definitely on the ropes, certainly production-wise. And uh, Russia's holding their own, which I'm happy with. Um, and uh, it, Japan is, is not going to last long if, if Germany only has 10 IPCs to work with in a given turn. There's a lot of fighters in the, in, um, the heartland there. And it could be um, a very tough go for Germany in the coming turns, especially um, as uh, as I'm able to maybe even move into Italy or maybe even uh, send in a force into France 
in the near future. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, little playthrough that uh, has been ongoing. And uh, if you did, again, please like, please subscribe, please comment down below. And uh, we look forward to seeing you for the next round here on Legendary Tactics.